Hey guys, Jenny Talks Toys with another video uh, for you guys today. And this is an exciting new installment that I've come up with. Uh, opening mystery blind bags. Specifically, uh, today we're going to be focusing on the Lego Harry Potter minifigures, of which you can see I've actually collected quite a few. So yeah, a lot of these were opened up today. Um, a lot of these were opened up last week. So now I actually have a lot of the individual characters and I'm not looking for any duplicates. So today was pretty fun. I went ahead and uh, felt up all the blind bags and uh, we were lucky. We do not have any duplicates so far. So as you can see, the collection so far consists of Professor Trelawney, Ron Weasley, who also comes with Scabbers, who I'm actually missing currently, but is somewhere floating around in my room. Cedric Diggory holding the Triwizard Tournament Cup. Neville Longbottom from uh, Herbology class. We have Hermione Granger along with, of course, uh, Crookshanks. Credence from Fantastic Beasts. Dumbledore, uh, Jacob Kowalski, Voldemort, my personal favorite, with Nagini, and Cho Chang. So that is who I have so far. And today we will be opening up uh, four of these other ones, of which I actually have the checklist here, checking off some of the figures that I already have. I believe out of these, if I'm not mistaken, I've picked up a Mad-Eye Moody, um, a Draco Malfoy, and a, uh, let's see, I wanted a Newt Scamander and a Luna Lovegood. That's who I think I have in these packs. And we'll see if I get any doubles. So wish me, uh, wish me luck, guys, luck. I was trying to say wish me luck. And yeah, we will proceed to open these guys up. So I'm going to go through the process of feeling these guys up again, just for fun and see if we can guess who's in here. So this one, okay, this one has what I believe to be a suitcase, I think, because there's kind of like a hingy piece in here. Um, and of course there's a stand and everything else. It does seem like there's a substantial amount of pieces. Oh no, you know what? I messed up you guys. I already messed up. I thought this was a Newt Scamander, but I actually felt a piece just now that confirms that this is actually Jacob Kowalski, who I already have. So this is not a great start to the video, but I have a feeling this is Jacob Kowalski and not Newt Scamander, which is a huge bummer. But I actually am not surprised in a way because I thought that if I was going to make any mistake today, it would be this one. And we are correct. This is Jacob Kowalski. Wah, wah. So I'm not gonna assemble this guy quite yet because I already have him. So this is my first doubles of the collection. But here's Jacob Kowalski, who I already have assembled off to the side. Here's some better lighting so you guys can see him better. Let's move some of these pieces out of the way. Um, but there he is. He's a really cool figure and uh, he's holding his little briefcase, which you can actually open up and see his little pastries inside, which is such a fun, neat little detail. And he's a great character. He's one of the best parts of Fantastic Beasts, in my opinion. So um, yeah, I'm glad to have him, but it does suck to get doubles. I had a feeling though, I was like, you know, I think it's Newt. I can't tell. If you can't find the Niffler um, and you have a briefcase in there, and you can feel these little stud pieces that are his pastries, you know you have a Jacob Kowalski and not a Newt's Commander. You have to find the, uh, cause um, Newt comes with a Niffler, so yeah. There's Jacob Kowalski. Okay, that was a bit of a bummer. It's a bit of a bummer. We're okay, we're okay. We will see what this one is then. So this one, mm -hmm -hmm. Okay, so that is a long piece. This is a broomstick. So I picked this one out thinking it's Draco Malfoy. And we will see if I'm correct. I think this is Draco. And voila, we were correct. It is Draco Malfoy. So we'll do a quick assembly of this guy. And voila, here we have Draco Malfoy, uh, looking super stern or unhappy or disapproving as is typical of Draco. He's holding his wand, he has his little broomstick, and he also has a snitch that he can hold. So that is really cool. Yeah, cool little figure. Uh, he has unarticulated legs and a bonus feature about him is this cape is a very soft, soft goods cape. It's not the typical leather cloth, not leather, I was trying to say Lego cloth. That's a bit more stiff. Um, if I can demonstrate really quick. We have a uh, Cho Chang, 
I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is kind of like a stiffer cloth. Whereas Draco, he has a very, very soft cape. So he's a really neat figure and uh, I'm very happy to have gotten him. Cause yeah, Draco's a fun character. So if you guys, the hint for finding him is try and find his broomstick. He's the only one with it. So there's Draco. I'm gonna put him over here. I'm gonna actually put uh, Kowalski here too. And here's Draco's little snitch. Cool. All right, bag number three. This one, this one, this one. Who do we have left? We have Mad-Eye and Luna. That's who I said that I thought I had, right? Okay, feeling around in here. Ah, the long sticks. So I think this is Mad-Eye Moody. That's what I picked this bag out for. Snip. And... All right, we have... Yes, we have Alstor Moody. I knew it. That is a cool figure. Making sure we don't have anything left in there. Let's assemble him. And here we have Alistair Moody, as you guys can see. He is a very cool figure, lots of good detailing in his fa uh, face, a lot of good print details. He comes with his wand and his staff, and that's how you know that's Mad-Eye Moody. However, he also comes with some cool other accessories. Um, if I'm not mistaken, yes, he is one of the figures that you can actually turn his head around. And he comes with alternate hair to turn him into his real Barty Crouch his real e uh, alter ego or real self, Barty Crouch. Um, yeah, there's the imposter Moody and then there's Artemis Crouch. Really cool, he has like the little tongue flick. I love that, super fun. He also comes with this accessory. Now I actually cannot tell for the life of me what this is. Is this, a po it looks like an ice cream cone or a drumstick. Is it supposed to be like a potion bottle or something? I actually don't know, so if you guys know what this is let me know down in the comments below maybe this is his flask that has his polyjuice potion i can't tell so i'll look it up on the lego website as well maybe yeah nix what i said about writing it down in the comments i'll actually put a description of what it actually is supposed to be right there but yeah pretty cool last bag and most exciting bag i believe was luna lovegood and that's the one that i thought was luna uh, the thing that gave it away for me is that Luna's the only character holding like a square tablet. If I'm not mistaken, that was this piece in here that I'm feeling. So let's hope this is Luna because she's one of the characters who I'm most excited to get in this series. Snipping it open and oh. Did a really weird snip job. I'm trying to be careful to open these bags towards the top because there's some cloth goods in here and I don't want to snip anything, which, haha, -ha, see I could have snipped this one, which I didn't want to, but that skirt is a dead giveaway that we were correct. We indeed have Luna Lovegood. Very exciting, one of my favorite Harry Potter characters of all time. Let's assemble her. Thank goodness for the magic of YouTube editing because my god, that was not easy putting the skirt piece on for some reason or another. But here's Luna. Yup, she's holding her copy of the Quibbler, which has a very, very cool uh, print on it. Um, and her wand, and she has her little satchel. She's definitely one of the characters in this series that has some of the coolest detail in it, if I do say so myself. And one of the coolest features about her, whoop, just caught the Quibbler, is that her hair piece comes off obviously, as all these Lego uh, minifigures hair pieces come off. But you can flop her head around and showcase her wearing her her little uh, quibbler goggles. So that is super cool. And she's awesome. She's awesome. She's probably my favorite out of everybody I've unboxed today by a long shot. Yeah. I mean, again, Luna's just one of my favorite characters in general, but...
this was a fun unboxing so i hope you guys enjoyed seeing who i all got today i am a little bit bummed out that i got a double of kowalski but i'm actually not surprised i think that's one that you have to be really careful for when you're feeling around make sure you find that niffler if you're looking for um if you are indeed looking for uh newt my goodness i really blank there newt's commander so who do i have and who do i want out of this checklist moving these guys aside we ironically do not have harry potter that's who we need we need harry we now have luna and we have all these other guys we have we do not have dean thomas but he's actually easy to feel for and he's a fairly common figure so i'm not too scared about getting him dobby seems a little bit harder to find but he would be an easy one to feel for because he would be the only headpiece with abnormal sculpting built into it uh, we have flitwick um we have harry potter with the invisibility cloak this one i'm really interested to see how easy it would be to get this one because i'm not sure how you would actually feel around and uh get his um his invisibility cloak in there i mean like it would be a cloth but how would you feel for a cloth in a blind bag i don't know in the back we have the fantastic beasts i'm most looking forward to newt but i also would like to get tina and um queenie that's pretty cool uh i forgot this dude's name but the random dude who ends up being spoiler alert uh uh grindelwald yeah Colin Farrell, basically. Eh, I'm not that interested in him, actually, funny enough, because I think he's a chase figure. He's like the rare one that I have no interest in whatsoever. So literally, I couldn't care less if I got him. But the people I'm most interested in getting is out of the Fantastic Beasts. I am happy I got Kowalski. He's one of the ones I wanted. But I would like to get uh, Tina and, of course, Newt, just, you know, as a pair. Definitely need to get ourselves the standard Harry. Would love, love to get the Harry and the Vis Invisibility Cloak. That is a really cool figure. Also, Dobby is the one that I would like to get out of the rest. But honestly, I'm looking to collect them all now at this point because I have the majority of these figures. So, very cool. I uh, highly recommend the Harry Potter Lego minifigures. They are a really cool series. What I am thinking is that uh, they really could have come up with some of the other characters though i mean no offense to flitwick but i'm not sure why they didn't choose mcgonagall instead of flitwick like why would you not choose you know a character who's a little bit more well known um i'm not exactly sure but that was a decision on lego's part and there's a few other characters who i would have liked to see i feel like dean thomas and cho chang and stuff like that's and cedric diggory those are kind of uh, random choices to be honest but hey you know yeah, don't complain, you just appreciate, I guess. So that is the collection all lined up for you guys. And uh, I hope to do another one of these soon. So yeah, looking forward to seeing you guys in another video. Take care.